everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So Sephora's Holiday Bonus Beauty Insider event began last week for Rouge members. This weekend, November 2nd through 5th, is Rouge Bonus Weekend. So if any of you Rouge members forgot anything or maybe had something that you were just contemplating and couldn't quite pull the trigger and maybe you're regretting it now, you can still pick that up this weekend with your 20% off using your code. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some fun things. If you're looking for gift ideas for yourself or someone else or you're just looking for what to buy in general from this Sephora Beauty Insider event, I've got tons of stuff laid out in front of me next to me to share with you. Some of these are from recent hauls and I definitely think they're worth the money. A lot of those items have become staple favorites that I am reaching for day in and day out. So I definitely wanted to share those with you. I have some splurge worthy items that are on my wish list and that I've gotten recently that I want to share with you and some things like that. So this video is going to be a lot of fun. This is actually the second video that I've put out regarding this Sephora event. The first one was more staple everyday items. I'm going to link that for you below. This video is in partnership with Sephora. I would be making this video anyway because I make recommendation or haul videos with every Beauty Insider event that Sephora has. And this one, like all the others, is just made to help you guys navigate the sale a little bit better if you are looking for things to buy and to help you make better buying decisions because we all have budgets and we want to make sure that we spend our money on the right things. A few quick details before we start. Sephora did revamp their Beauty Insider program recently. I'm gonna link to it down below so that you can check out all the nuances of it. During this event, Beauty Insiders receive discounts both online and in store, and it is good for both US and Canada. Both Rouge and VIB members receive a 20% discount. First access for Rouge members was October 26th through 29th, but if you miss that or you do wanna pick up something extra, this is is Rouge bonus weekend and that runs from November 2nd through 5th and that's where Rouge members can still use their 20% using the code Rouge bonus to pick up any items that you forgot or you were contemplating and kind of regret not getting so I think that's pretty cool that they did that VIB member access is from November 9th through 12th and BI member access is from November 16th through 19th and they save 15%. I have the dates and codes down below in the description box for you guys and you can use your code as many times as you want during your designated shopping time. And if you're someone who's not a member of the Beauty Insider program and you'd like to save that 15%, it's not too late. You can sign up either in person or online. I'll provide a link for you below so that you can shop the holiday bonus event and save your 15% during the week of November 16th through 19th. A lot of you were really disappointed that you missed out on the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette. It has been back in stock. You should be able to get it again unless by the time this video airs it's back out of stock but if it's available I do recommend getting it it is such a pretty palette I love that it has such a variety in here of not only mattes and shimmers but it's got you know your berries your peaches your neutrals too every year she comes out with a limited edition palette and it's always beautiful and this one is no different. I said earlier I was going to be giving you gift ideas for yourself as well as for other people. This would make a great gift for you or someone else. It has a beautiful presentation on the outside and on the inside and it's just a really nice splurge worthy item. So I mentioned that I got the Anastasia Sultry palette in my Vegas haul. I think I mentioned it in that video but I didn't get it in Vegas. I ordered it because it wasn't available at the time. I am so glad that I got it. I have that on my eyes today, which I wore all day today as a daytime look. I feel like although this says it's a sultry palette, it can be used for daytime or nighttime because it does have a variety of mattes, of shimmers. You know, some of the shimmers are more amped up like the cyborg shade down here, but I have the rose quartz on my lid and it wears so nicely during the day as do any of the mattes. So what I did today was put bloom as a transition very softly. This shade is very pigmented. You do not need much at all. I also did end up putting it on my lower lash line. I just forgot to catch that part on film. I then took twig on the outer third of my lid and blended it up into the crease and just kind of dragged it a little bit further into the eye with what was remaining on the brush. Again, it really blended itself. I didn't want to bring it up as high as Bloom, of course, so I kept it a little more localized. Then I went in with my finger with Rose Quartz 
and it just gave me that beautiful rose gold look that I'm always looking for. I feel like most rose gold shades are either too rosy or too gold or too dark, and this one is perfect. It's absolutely stunning. It's the rose gold that I've been looking for. On the outer corner, I took a tiny bit of dystopian just to deepen that area up a little bit, and I highlighted my brow bone and inner corner where I have some darkness with fresh. And then I lined with dystopian also. I love that they have two really deep shades in here, this black and this brown, because you can not only deepen up an eye look or really smoke it out and make it super sultry, but you can also line with them on a daily basis if you're going for, you know, kind of a lighter or a deeper eye look. This palette is just not only beautiful on the outside, but it's beautiful on the inside. I think this packaging is <laughs> the best packaging that she has come up with, and it doesn't get as dirty as her other packaging either. If you are someone who wants to do special eye looks for the holidays and you want some really beautiful shimmers and you maybe don't want to mess with glitters or liquid glitter shadows, this is a great palette for that and I love that you can do that with this palette but you can also keep it to wear for every day. It's not just a special occasion palette. Everyone seems to be talking about the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I only have the Coral Obsessions and I haven't really talked about this one. By the time I really got to playing around with it, it was very late summer and Coral's really not a shade that I use a lot of in the fall but you know now that I'm looking at it here on camera I think I could make this work for fall, so I probably need to do a tutorial with this along with many other palettes that I have. I do have some eye tutorials coming for you guys. Some of them are coming very soon. These palettes have such a great silky blendable formula. I love that they're compact. I love that you can create a beautiful eye look. They're great for travel. She has quite a few to pick from. I wanted to get Topaz the other day when I was in Sephora, but they didn't have it. I definitely see myself getting some more of these. Some of the ones that she just released are, you know, red and violet and green. That's not what they're called, but that's the color theme. Which is great if you want those shades as accents but she also has palettes that can give you a complete eye look too so I really do appreciate that about these they're a great price point they're small but they give you a big impact speaking of small with big impact this is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 5 palette 08 I am in love with this palette I'm over here holding the camel palette too I like the camel palette I don't know how many of you need another neutral palette but this one does travel really well because of its small size. This is really the one that I want to focus on because I think this is a great time to pick up something like this. Maybe you don't want to spend all the money on a big Natasha Denona palette. I have really been loving this one. I owe you guys an eye look from this because I had it on in I think two videos and I've been asked a ton how I got that look and I will be recreating that look. I just love the shades in this so much. This is different than any other palette that I have. I think it's great and she has a ton of these to pick from. So if you've been wanting to kind of play around with her palettes, her palette fives are really good to kind of mess around with. There are two palettes I have on my wish list. One is the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. I passed by it in Sephora the other night when I was looking around. It looks really pretty. It's got kind of a warm color scheme, but it's got some shades in there that are kind of unexpected for me that are a little bit different than shades I have in other palettes. If any of you have this palette, let me know down below what your thoughts are. Another palette that's on my wish list is not out yet as I'm filming this. It is supposed to release November 1st, and that's the Huda Beauty Nudes palette. It just looks really pretty. I would really, really like to get this palette in my hands. So those are two palettes I have on my wish list during this holiday bonus beauty insider event. I just would love to get those. I did mention another foundation in my part one video, as well as in my recent haul and try on from the Beauty Insider Appreciation event. I'm going to link both of those below because I don't want to be too repetitive from that event, so I'm not mentioning a lot of the same products in this, although there is some crossover. I think the La Mer Foundation and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation are completely worth the money. I like them both. I wish I could say I reached for the La Mer every day like I do the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't because this is just so expensive. It's like I'm saving it for some reason. I really shouldn't. This one does have 
have a slight scent to it. It's their Miracle Broth. I think that's what they call it. It's supposed to be good for your skin. I don't know. They both just make my skin look really beautiful and healthy and vibrant somehow. I think the Magic Foundation looks more demi-matte, whereas the La Mer looks slightly less demi-matte, but not quite satin either. I don't really know how to describe it. The La Mer really does look like skin. The Magic Foundation looks more natural, not quite like skin. Kind of reminds me of how the Estee Lauder Dell Wear Light used to look before they reformulated it, and this one is more skin-like. They're both just really nice foundations if you're looking to splurge on something but you've been hesitating on either one of these. I do give them my endorsement. I really, really like both. I have been asked about this brush so many times. In every video where I use it, if it's a tutorial or you get ready with me or if I happen to use it on Instagram stories or something, I don't even know how many people chime in wanting to know what brush it was. I try to list it every time, but sometimes I just forget. It's the Hourglass Veil brush. I don't know if there's another part to that name or not, but I use this every single day to either apply or dust away my setting powder. It is so soft. I just love it. For me, this is completely worth the money. I've washed it. It's held up nicely. I have never really been a fan of dual ended brushes. This is an exception for me. I have to say I don't use this end on a daily basis just because I have other brushes that I use to dust away the setting powder under my eyes and put on highlighter, which is what I would use this for. But this is the brush I bring when I travel to accomplish all those tasks. It's so easy, it's light, it's soft. Did I say it was soft? Another question I've been asked a lot from you guys is whether the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Coconut Bronzer, if it's worth it or not. Hands down, yes. First of all, you get a ton of product in here. So it is more money, but you do get more than you would get in a normal bronzer. It's not too orange, it's not too gray. It's just that perfect bronzer shade. I love the size of the pan. It's so easy just to take your brush and be messy with it and then swipe it all over your face. I love the size of the mirror. It makes it great when you travel if you need a big mirror. Yes, this is worth it. This will be a great product to get with your discount. I recently discovered two brands of blushes they're new to me that I've been reaching for nearly every day. So I had to share them with you guys. Now the Charlotte Tilbury, I've been using the shade Ecstasy since probably I think the spring. It's such a beautiful coral soft shade that I think would work on tons of different people. But more recently I discovered the shade First Love and I can't remember which haul I hauled this in because I feel like I've gotten a lot of stuff recently. This is such a perfect goes with anything shade. If you're doing a smoky eye, dramatic look, or a muted look, it's not too pink, it's not too peach, it's not too nude. It's just beautiful. Yes, her blushes look like a boob. Use the outer shade as a swiss shade for, you know, this area right here, and then you pop this center shade onto the cheekbone or above the cheekbone or wherever you want that pop of placement. Or you can swirl them together. You can do either one. I love her blushes. I think they're great. The formula lasts all day and I'm going to say the same thing about a blush that I just recently discovered, but it has a little bit more pigment to it. And that's the Tom Ford blush. The shade I have is Inhibition. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but it's really beautiful on. This particular shade will really brighten up your face. It does show up, a little goes a long way, and it just looks beautiful. I wholeheartedly recommend either one of those blushes if you're looking for a new blush. Now, if you're looking for a gift, for yourself or for someone else. This next product, I saw it in Sephora a week or two ago and I had to get it as soon as I saw the packaging. It is stunning. It's the NARS Orgasm Infatuation Palette and can you just look at how beautiful this is. It's rose gold, it's got embossing on it. Talk about a great gift. I would love to receive this. So it's got Laguna Bronzer, Orgasm Blush, and Orgasm Highlighter. I think Laguna is a great shade for contouring and bronzing. It's just that perfect neutral bronzy shade. I do have this on my face today, by the way. I feel like this formulation of Orgasm is not like the ones that I have tried in the past. Now, when it first came out, I really loved it, but then over the years, I feel like it got more and more glimmery and shimmery, and I just stopped liking it as much. This one is really glowy and soft and beautiful on the skin, and this highlighter you can build, and it's just a really pretty shade. I love that basically everything I need for my face is right here in this palette and it is stunning, 
stunning. Speaking of great gift ideas, this is the Sephora Gimme More Lip Set. I picked this up the other day when I was in Sephora. I was just wandering around and I thought, this one looks a little bit different. This to me is different than their other lip sets because it's got nudes as well as reds and some deep shades for fall in here. I feel like you get a little bit of everything. And this is $68. Can we talk about what a great deal that is? You get five full-size products. One of them is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. That's pretty amazing. And you get nine deluxe trial sizes of other products. I also love that they include so many different formulations. There's glosses, there's liquid lip, but only a few liquid lips. I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks. There's moussey formulations, there's regular formulations, there's regular lipsticks as well. This is a great, great buy if you're wanting to try different brands. I do have this link down below so you can see exactly what brands are included in here, but I think, again, if you're looking for yourself or if you're looking for someone else, this is a great, great buy. I'm thrilled with it and I can't wait to play around with all these lip products. And now I am going to give you probably my most worn lip color of the year and tell you that if you like nudes, you need to get this lipstick. And that is Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. It is, actually no, it was what I had on my lips before I put gloss on over it. So it's underneath a layer of gloss. And I'll tell you what that gloss is in a second. I know my lighting is terrible right now, so it's probably making this look a little more peachy than it is, but it's not your typical nude that makes you look washed out. It is cut with a little bit of peach so that you don't look washed out. And I think that's why it works on so many people. And it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's just a really perfect shade. Next I have three Tom Ford lipsticks that I've been reaching for a ton. There's Sable Smoke, Pink Dusk, and Indian Rose. The Sable Smoke and the Indian Rose I got very recently. These are so creamy and beautiful, and I feel like this Indian Rose just really brightens up my face a lot. It's not too pink, but it's not too deep. It's really pretty year-round, so I'm really glad that I have those because they are different enough to justify owning all three in my mind anyway. Let's talk about glosses. There are two gloss sets that I think would make great gifts for yourself or for someone else. They've done a really great job with curating shades and none of them are too overly dramatic or out of the ordinary. They're very wearable. The first is the Marc Jacobs Enamored with Shine Volume 2 Four Piece Mini Lip Gloss Collection. And I don't mind getting minis of shades because how often do we really finish up a lip gloss or even a lipstick? You really have to love a lipstick to finish it up and I have done it but I have a ton of lipsticks here I could have minis of them all and be just fine the shades in this look really wearable and nice the price point is great the other one is the lip icing glow gloss kit it's Becca in collaboration with Chrissy Teigen actually my three favorite gloss formulas are Becca Tom Ford and Marc Jacobs specifically in my Vegas haul I did talk about the Tom Ford pink gilt right here, which is actually what I layered over my Bitch Perfect. They're kind of combined. And the Marc Jacobs Chisha Changes. These two shades are so freaking beautiful on the lips. I just bought this shade because I thought it was so beautiful. It's Becca Ruby Fire. I don't know if it's in that set or not, but I really think any shade that you get in these glosses, you will like. I feel like I've gone from being so-so with glosses to really loving glosses if they're the right formula. The right formula can't be sticky, it can't be goopy, it needs to wear a decent amount of time, and all of these fit that bill. They're just kind of that perfect gloss formula. So here we have the Becca Ruby Fire, and here's the Tom Ford Pink Gilt, and here's the Marc Jacobs Chicha Changes. I'm so sorry about the lighting in here, you guys. I'm hoping you can kind of get the gist of it. But the formula of these is so pretty, and I feel like you can also wear a little bit of glimmer, shimmer. All of these have that, and it doesn't look overly metallic. It doesn't look too shimmery or over the top or anything like that. And I'm just going to launch right into my biggest item on my wish list is the Dyson Airwrap. Do any of you want this product as much as I do? I keep seeing videos with this thing in it and I want it so bad. But I cannot just by spending that much on a hair tool, but I keep thinking it'll save me time and it'll keep my hair healthy. I don't know. Are any of you getting this product? But I only want it if I can get the full one. It's on my wish list, but I will say as far as hair tools go, if you're in need of a new hair dryer or a straightener or a curling iron or curling wand, I highly recommend T3. I recently bought their travel dryer. It folds. I don't know if they have that model here, but I'll link their page down here or a similar dryer. 
it's so lightweight and it doesn't feel like it's as powerful as it is. I hate using hotel dryers and it's been worth every penny for me. And their full size dryer I have used before. If my dryer dies, I would replace it with the T3 in a heartbeat. My two hair appliances that I use every single day are T3. This is actually the T3 World Trio base. And this is an attachment that I got for it. I do have a couple of attachments. So it didn't actually come like this, but that's what I like about that T3 World Trio is that you can get attachments and customize your tool however you want it. And this of course is the flat iron that I use all the time, whether it's to straighten my hair or just to get out little kinks. And I do feel like my hair is in better condition since I switched over to T3. I get a lot of compliments from you guys on my hair, so thank you for that. I don't know if it's something I've been using product-wise or if it's the heat styling that I've been doing, if it's just working better for me. I do take this opportunity to stock up on my Nest candles. A lot of you know the Nest holiday scent is the scent that I burn during the holidays and the Moroccan ham Amber. And the Moroccan Amber is the scent that I burn pretty much year round. I do like to experiment with their scents. So if you guys use Nest candles and you have a scent that you love, please leave that for me down below. I am always wanting to try new scents from them. They smell luxurious. They burn luxuriously. I just, I love the candles and this is the opportunity that I use to buy myself the candles that I love for my home and sometimes I buy a few extra as gifts too. I mentioned a few Drunk Elephant products in my last video. I'm a big Drunk Elephant fan. I have been for a long time and I've recently gotten the opportunity to try more of their products because they sent me this trunk. It's called the trunk. It is available on the Sephora website. So if you are really wanting to splurge or really wanting to try Drunk Elephant products or maybe distribute some of these amongst friends or family or you share a home with somebody and you can share products, you do save by getting them all at once. It's got some sliding compartments, some that open from the top, these doors open to reveal these products. It really is just the coolest thing. You get nine of their products in here. I do have it linked below so you can see what specific products are in here. There are some of my staple favorites in here. I've got to try some products out that I've really been enjoying through this kit, but if you're really wanting to splurge, this is on the Sephora site. They also have some smaller kits. They have this Agent Ellie kit, which I've talked about. It's everything you need for a morning routine. They have the Inspector Drunk kit for the night routine, and there's a magnifying glass. There's a whole thing with it. I've done a video on it. I'll link it down below just so you can see all the ins and outs of this. But this and the Inspector Drunk kits are great if you're wanting to try out Drunk Elephant products without investing quite as much as you would with the trunk. I think they did a great job in preparation for the holiday season because you have some small things to pick from, some big things to pick from. Their products just agree with my skin. So whether you get the night kit or the morning kit, I think you're gonna get some great quality products or if you decide to invest and get the entire trunk. What have you gotten so far? What are you getting? Do you have a list? Let me know down below. I love getting your comments. I love getting ideas from you. I am still shopping myself. And so I may end up adding some more things to my shopping cart based on your comments. If you're a Rouge member and you're shopping this weekend, or if you're a VIB member or a Beauty Insider member and you're shopping the holiday bonus Beauty Insider event on one of the other upcoming weekends, happy shopping. I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you at my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.